So before I begin, I'd like to give a shout out to a bunch of people. Hmm? Back on the, um, uh, wait, uh, I feel useless, blah, 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 blah. All right. Um, I can't remember what playthrough I was doing that I mentioned it first, but, um, uh, doing anything more, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I can't remember what, uh, playthrough I mentioned it first, but, uh, about, a year ago, just about, yeah, just under a year ago, on 4chan's pony board, yeah, fucking pony board of all things, um, there was a, uh, Persona crossover, choose your own adventure story thing going on there, and, uh, recently it, uh, just wrapped up, like, it just finished and all that, so, like, yeah, it's fucking... Persona, Crossing Ponies, and it's fan fiction, so it's like autistic as fuck. But my god, that was one hell of a ride. Igor, you fantastic motherfucker, that was one fantastic read. Like, I'll I'll put the um, entire story in the description if if you're one of those people who actually want to check it out. But um uh, a cool thing that happened, like I won't spoil it. But, a thing happens that leads to physical embodiments of each social link now being a part of that story's world, right? And, like, at the end of the story, uh, the writer who, we, who, was, who just refers to himself as Igor, fucking fantastically, um... He just, he just posts, going, Okay, everyone. Pick a key. A key represents a social link. Fucking post now. So a whole bunch of people just scramble together to fucking be the first person to, um, to pick, like, one of these social link keys. And, and then the story finishes. It's like, okay, what that meant is... You, yourself, are that social link creature thing that has been born from this story. Write your epilogue. <laughs> so that's a thing that's been happening, is just like, a bunch of random people have just, like, um, become embodiments of these things and, like, write stories about shit. So, um, if you're a person who, uh... Uh, happens to like that thread, read the story and all that, um, sh uh, fucking, god damn it, I had a cool thing to say and I fucking forgot, but, strength here, shouting out to everyone else in the rest of the thread. Man, that was one fucking year, man. <sighs> so yeah, I did that, I picked the strength key from the, um, thread and, uh, <laughs> made like my a few short stories and all that but um the uh that i think that's also being collected by someone else in like a little archive somewhere so you'll see my incredibly terrible writing like um a lot of people that are in that thread who pick those keys saying like oh, i'm a terrible writer i have nowhere i have no idea what to do and and all that and they fucking thank you they write their stories and they're like really long very good thought out stuff well mine is just like Sorry. two or three posts really dumb stories and shit which people <laughs> seem to enjoy but like not as much as those big long thought out ones especially like the incredibly fucking dumb one death did Fuck you, Mary, you piece of shit. I'll see if I can find the archive for the, um, extra stories as well. So, yeah, I completely, like, disregarded that for, like, this dumb little story that I've been talking about, about a bunch of losers circle-jerking to their own fucking Persona fan fiction. So dumb. It was dumb, but I felt like I was in a 
like I was a part of a community for once, and it's, it's I don't know. Uh, it was fun while it lasted, though. Like, it's... Technically, it's still going. Because, like... Uh, not the main writer, but just some other dude is like... So, what happens if these uh, social link, uh, entities, like, get their own personas and do, like, bonus dungeons? So, yeah, he's been writing up that as well. And... Fucking... Each person who got a key got to pick their own persona and all that shit, so it's like m even more circle jackings. Oh shit, story stuff. Ah, uh, that's right, Rise. Completely forgot that's where we were in the story. So, uh, anyway, going on with that, fucking. Uh, if everyone who got a key picked their own fucking persona, so like. I think Justice has Lancelot, fucking. Uh, Death has some voodoo priest that I. Like I'd never heard of before, and I straight up made the made uh, my persona like a reference to the channel. It's straight up just Pepini Jawari. Oh, yeah, so that's been fun. Hasn't been in a dungeon yet, but it will fucking wreck shit. Like the guy who's been like organizing this stuff is like. Uh, alright, um, these are all these characters, uh, strengths and weaknesses and, like, abilities and shit. So, like, Pepini Jawari is, like, the strongest AoE physical attacker, and he has, like, a health drain ability. But he's completely weak to fucking light attacks. It was light and something else. Oh, but he's completely immune to physical and fire attacks, which is great. I mean, I love stupid, like, circle jerk shit like that. Now, it's not more circle jerk, it's more of, like, role-playing, kind of. Like, I've recently, like, well, not really recently, but about a month or two ago, like, started really getting into the concept of, of like, the whole role-playing in role-playing games. That's why, like, I've started to play, um... Uh, that's, yeah, that's why I started uh, adventuring into MMOs, like, a little while back. With, um, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV, uh, Terra, and all that. In the end, fucking Warcraft won, and I got a, uh, subscription of that, so... That's a thing that happened. If I told myself ten years ago that I would be paying for World of Warcraft... Are we going? I'd fucking go nuts. Because that was a thing I told myself would never happen. Like, I was interested in the game, but there was no way in fuck I was gonna pay ten dollars a month for it. Well, that stopped. <laughs> it's like, I told myself, if I get a character to level 20 on my free account, and, um, and I still wanna play the game, then I'll buy a subscription. I got 11 characters at level 20. So I'm like, yeah, I think I'm gonna play this game. But, me being me, I get a subscription, then I start playing, like, my, uh, first fucking character I made, a, uh, Tauren Warrior. I get him to level 20, uh, yeah, level 22, and I'm like, yeah, I'm bored of this shit now. I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, Mr. Detective, did something happen? Oh, it's you guys. I just realized, like, I've been spewing on for ten fucking minutes about, like, all this shit and completely ignoring the game. Alright, saw Rise on the Midnight Channel, like, oh fuck, we gotta warn Rise. But fucking people are busy and Adachi's doing traffic work because, like, no other cops are willing to do it, so a detective has to. Man, that's fucking sad. Police department isn't that big. We don't have enough staff. Well, I still have work to do, so I'll see you later. Yeah, poor bastard. Dude, you managed to scare off a police detective on active duty. Well, no shit, he's Kanji. I wasn't trying to scare the guy. I just said what I was thinking. <laughs> but you're right. 
It's weird for the police to come out like this. Hey, you think the police suspect that Risa might be the next target too? Well, maybe. That could be it. Or it could also be the fact that there's like a hundred fucking people... Well, in the story there's supposed to be like a hundred people, but because of like, uh, console limitations it's like five. But like, there's a whole bunch of people fucking at this um, tofu... Uh, tofu... Tofu shop. Trying to fucking... Trying to look at a celebrity here. So... Yeah, it could be a thing like, oh, these policemen are just trying to, um, uh, just trying to protect Rise and all that, but yeah, there could also be other stuff. Well, considering that my fucking uncle is here as well, could also mean, like, that they suspect Rise could be next. Man, I hate this squeaky fucking chair. Hmm. Fine. But remember... She might be a celebrity, but this is her home. Try not to bother them too much. This is a thing that annoys me about, like, uh, people and that their love for celebrities. Up, huh? It's just... So, people don't seem to understand that they're just people. Well, they just happen to be richer than you. We can't just tell them everything, so, right? so, people treat them like gods the and all that. We'll like... More suspicious. They'll be watching us all the time. And e even people do that to fucking uh, YouTube personalities as well. Which, like, uh, these man. people are super humble that they got the following the that they have, but they're like, that dude, fucking calm down. I'm just a wanker on the internet. But it might have just I don't a deserve, like, well, this kind of praise. And really, you're kind of creeping me out, too. Like, wasn't there a story, like, a couple months ago of this weird stalker trying to, like, trying to attack fucking, um, uh, Ross from Game Grumps and, uh, what's he said? Pro Jared? I think so. It had something to do with a pen. I don't know, some people know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, Gunmadoki. Because Yosuke can't eat tofu for some reason. Oh, that's considerate of you. Yeah, I totally know my friends, yeah. Wait, what's It totally isn't because I've fucking played this game like eight cake? times. There's no rice cake. Oh, I'm out of my drink already, it was bullshit. Like tofu patties with I hope that picks up well on my in my incredibly feeble attempt to crush a can.